Yo, 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 what is up Halo community? So we just got a huge update about the August drop pod and when it's going to be arriving, as well as some other features that are going to be coming along with it. Now, before we jump into this, if you guys could hit that sub and like button as it helps me out in the algorithm and it keeps me doing these videos. With that being said, let's get right into it. So the August drop pod is arriving next Tuesday, August 9th which is only like a week away, which is pretty insane. Granted, we were supposed to get a drop pod in July. Uh, it was supposed to be more of a monthly thing, but for whatever reason, some of them get delayed. So the first thing we're gonna cover today, which I've already actually covered in a previous video, but we're just gonna highlight it real quick, is that cross core visors will be a thing. They will be arriving and it will be available on all cores, which is awesome. So now you could finally use any of your visors on any core, which is gonna be amazing, honestly. And so we actually got some example images here. Right here we got the Night Wisp visor on the Scout helmet. And we also got another example here, the Athena's uh, mirror visor on the Yorai core. Uh, I think the Athena's mirror visor is from the Raka Shaka or Shasa uh, <laughs> co armor core. I think that the visor is from that core. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, you could wear it on any core now. And the example here is the URI core with it. And so the cross core customization doesn't exactly end there. We also got some Mark 7 helmet attachments that will now be, uh, not all of them, but a lot of them will now be cross compatible across most of uh, the Mark 7 helmets and stuff. So they actually provided us some examples of the cross core helmet attachments. Um, now keep in mind, this is only for Mark 7 currently, not across all cores. But uh, yeah, it's still nice that you're able to actually <laughs> equip certain attachments from the Mark 7 on other Mark 7 helmets. So here's our first example, which is a soldier helmet attachment on a Rampart helmet. So we also got another example here, which is the Warhammer helmet attachment on a Firefall helmet. Uh, that's all we got for examples right now. But um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty nice that we'll finally be able to start like, you know, using some cross core stuff. Um, and I'm sure more is to come later down the line. So not only that, we're also getting an additional ranked playlist, as well as a social playlist, which is Team Doubles. So Team Doubles is finally coming to Halo Infinite. So we're going to have a social variant and as well as a ranked doubles variant. They also mentioned that if the playlists like perform well, uh, as expected and stuff like that, that they actually plan on making more additions and stuff and can continue experimenting with uh, adding more ranked playlists in the future. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I think it's pretty nuts that we only had one ranked playlist for like how long since like launch, uh, like nine months. We're probably at this. We're probably at the nine month mark, right? Um, so like all this stuff is appreciated, but like, man, dude, <laughs> I mean, it took a lot of time to get here and we're not even like, we still got a long way to go guys. They also said that they're laying down the groundwork for, uh, allowing you to like pick your region and stuff, uh, like, you know, servers and all that, all that good stuff. Uh, cause we do really need that. Cause I'd be, I'll be lagging in like some, a ton of matches and stuff because I get put into like some server that I'm not even close to or something, uh, which is really annoying. <laughs> Now, this is not a feature yet, but they're just laying down the groundwork, so we'll probably see it, like, I'm just gonna assume the next drop pod, uh, but, you know, that's just a theory, I don't know. And so another big change we got is challenges on the pause menu. Wow, man, I mean, this should have been, I'm not even gonna lie, man, this stuff should have been at launch, uh, like, come on, man, Ch not being able to see your challenges and stuff, like, it's nice that we're just now getting this. Um, or rather, it's nice that we're getting this now, but like, man, dude, this kind of stuff should have already been implemented into the game. Um, so I don't know. I mean, it's nice, but, but it's like, damn, dude, I feel like this should have already been in the game. I do want to note that they do not update. Um, they just show you the challenge, so, uh, you can't really like tell how many kills you need left. It just shows you the challenge. So it's not exactly complete, but you know you can at least see your challenges now just in case you forget because i know i forget sometimes so that is all that is coming with the august drop pod um i think this is just a preview so there might be more but i think the rest is probably just gonna be uh like quality of life updates and stuff like that uh these are more of the highlights i think but uh, i'll keep you guys updated once that drops if there's anything important on that one once the full drop pod actually comes out and stuff uh maybe they added some like secret hidden changes or something i don't know or maybe they're holding back on something big that might happen. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think about this August drop pod. I think it's definitely one of the better ones that we've gotten. Um, it's nice that we're finally getting updates uh, pretty consistently. 
um, it still takes a lot of time, you know, it takes like two, three months, but at least we're like actually getting updates as before we weren't getting anything. <laughs> so we're like, we're slowly getting there. We're picking up pace, you know, um, I really want this game to be successful, but I don't know, man. It just sucks that we're like stuck in the catch up phase right now. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Uh, consider subscribing and liking, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.